this video I'm going to show you how to apply a conceal zip. If you need to have a reminder on how to apply a channel zip, just click this link here. So in this video we are going to be inserting a concealed zip. That's the sort of zip where you cannot see any of the stitching from the outside of the garment. It's really a very nice neat finish to your work. So for this sample I'm going to just overlock the two long edges on these pieces of fabric before inserting the concealed zip. So having overlocked the two long edges of my sample which might be two panels of a skirt for example I've pressed under to the wrong side one and a half centimeters just to guide me and this is the concealed zip sometimes called an invisible zip because all you should be able to see when this is actually in the garment is the zip pull um, because you can't see uh, the coil or the teeth of the zip at all so I'm just going to position the zip upside down on the sample, making sure that the tape on the zip is level with the top of the garment. Uh, this is so that when you sew or finish the garment, this tape will disappear into the seam allowance. So I'm just gonna pop a couple of pins in, initially just to get the positioning correct and I'm going to put a pin at the same point on the other side. So now we've got our zip into position I'm just going to open the zip completely so I'm just going to take the zip pull all the way down to the stopper and now we have our sample like this. So what I'm going to do now, having already positioned the correct zipper foot, and this has got the hole on the left hand side for this one, turn on the machine, knee lift to raise the presser foot, And lower it when we're happy that it's in the correct position. So I'm just going to hold on to these threads when we first start stitching just so that they don't tangle on the underside of our work and I'm going to back tack now what we need to do is get into this part of the zip as close as we can so it might just mean just rolling that zip to one side We're going to sew as close as we can to this point. And back tack. Make sure that the pulley is in the upright position. Knee lift and bring the work away from the zip and the sample and cut our threads. So I'm now just going to change the foot, make sure obviously that the machine is off before you do this. Just going to put the other foot on. This foot has got the little gap or hole for the needle on the other side and that's because we're going to go down the other side of the zip. Just make sure that's firm enough not to fall off and then we can turn the machine back on and now we're going to position the other half of the zip into place. I'm just going to pop a pin in to stop it moving. 
So knee lift, lower the presser foot. Hold on to these threads so it doesn't knot at the back of the work. And we're going to back tack. And just as we did before, we're going to get as close as we can to the zip with the needle and the foot. And I'm just slightly rolling the coil or the teeth of the zip to one side so we can get as close as possible. And you go as far as you can towards the end of the zip, which is about two and a half centimetres away from the end, and just back tack. So just make sure the pulley is in the upright position, knee lift, bring the work to one side, turn off the machine, and then snip the threads. We've sewn the zip in either side. We're going to just pull the zip pull up to the top. Okay, and now what we need to do is to close this seam. And still with the zipper foot on, I'm going to now sew just from where we stopped all the way down to the, what would be the hem. So before we sew that seam, I think I'll just put in a couple of pins just to keep the fabric level. I'm going to lift the presser foot, I'm going to put the work under the foot and we're going to just hold on to this thread as usual and back tack and then we're going to sew the seam in place. And back tack to finish. Make sure that the pulley's in the upright position. Knee lift and bring the work to one side and cut off with a pair of scissors. So here you can see that we've sewn the seam and then we're ready to go and press the work. So here we have a concealed zip applied to the work and as you can see we can't see any of the stitching or any of the coil or teeth of the zip or we can see is the zip pull. In the next video I'm going to show you how to make knife pleats. <laughs>